if you're not going to go to a beard artist to get your beard shaped and cared for and trimmed properly and you want to do it yourself, which I don't recommend, but there's very few people behind chairs, barbers and stylists, and that can really do a great job. There's a handful, but there's not a lot of them. And most of the guys who sit in my chair will tell you that was a huge mistake when they went somewhere and the person, you know, was giving them a haircut and they said, hey, you want me to trim your beard too? Oh yeah, sure. You know, hey, might as well hit two birds at one stone. And they got knocked back about three, four, five, six months in their beard. And they practically cried. Ever see a grown man cry? Give him a bad beard trim. You'll see a grown man cry. But let me just teach you something. One of the problems I had when I first started my beard was that I kept trimming the sides because I wanted a sleek look. I wasn't planning on a beard, and I was just doing this. When you look at my early Instagram photos, this is how my beard looked, just like this. I did not expect to have all this at all. When I decided to do it, just all rules don't apply at that point. But what I was doing when it was shorter was, now look at this, watch. The domain of a haircut is about mid-ear on up. The domain of a beard trim is mid-ear on down. So haircuts really begin at about mid-ear. That little thing right there, I just call it a lobe. It's, I know this is the ear lobe, but I also, I don't even know what that's called. But that's where I do haircuts from. If I'm doing a haircut on somebody, I do it from here up. Beard trim from here down. When I look at the hair at that middle lobe, it only comes out to about here. When I follow it down, it only comes, it doesn't even, it just barely reaches my chin. If I didn't touch that hair obsessively like a maniac during the first six months, I would be able to go out to here and come all the way down. All right, so if you decided that you want a short beard, you start with the largest snap-on guard. I would say a five or a six, which comes in most home kits. Put the clipper at about mid-ear, go up and rock out. Never just go straight up. Come up and out, up and out. If that doesn't touch any hair, put on the four. Try the same thing, okay? What you want is, if you want that look where the beard kind of comes in for a landing about mid-ear, it goes right down to skin, then comes back out for the hair. That's a very popular look. Or maybe it's kind of like a, almost see-through or almost like a one or transparent, okay, in this area up to the temple, you can do that as well. Just think in terms of progression. Four, three, two, one. Always progression, never just one guard. The other thing is this, is that it is perfectly okay to have a disconnect. I used to think that, you know, everything has to be perfectly blended. The hair has to come... It's okay to have hair or skin and then a beard explosion. That's perfectly okay. Now, guys who shave their heads, that's a different story. I kind of like a faded up beard uh, that kind of comes to like a point uh, right at the top of the ear when it comes to the guys with shaved heads. And that's how I operate. So you can taper your own beard. Nowadays, the young guys call it fade. Um, I come from, in, professionally, where that's called tapering. I want my beard tapered up into my haircut. My haircut tapered into my beard. In the back, you don't fade it up, you taper the hair in the back. You have a low fade, a medium fade, or a high fade, which is otherwise known as something, some people would call it like, uh, kind of like high and tight. Actually, a real high and tight isn't faded or tapered. It actually is fairly abrupt, like, um, I don't know, if you look at uh, uh, Brad Pitt in the movie Fury, that's an interesting haircut. Uh, it's definitely a movie haircut. It's definitely not something that he's rocking all the time, but it was a, a period piece um, where he pulled that off. Uh, but I encourage guys to go to Beard For All on Instagram and look at how you want your beard tapered. That's important. I'll, I'll ask that question. I say to guys all the time, what is your beard goal? And they're like, gee, I never really thought of that. Before you sit in my chair, I want you to think about that. What is your beard goal? Pick out someone who has a beard, realistic person, something that's realistic. 
pick out someone who has a beard that you admire and that you realistically can achieve. And it'll be great. You're going to love your beard. You really are. I guarantee it. Thanks.